Hey guys, welcome to another Maple Story video, and today I'm gonna go over the important things you want to know from the 14th anniversary patch, which also coincides with the Line Friends crossover, but I don't use Line too much, although it's very popular in East Asia. For those of you guys who don't know, Line is like a kind of like a social media app, kind of similar to Discord, Skype, uh, Kick, Kakao Talk. Um, stuff like that, and it's pretty popular in East Asia, but people still do use it in the US. I don't use it too much just because I don't think I really need to, but you know, it's, it's kind of like WhatsApp and all that other stuff. So, uh, this is a scripted video. I did, I tried to make it live commentary to make it feel more natural, but after spending about 20 minutes reading through it, I just felt really janky. So you know what, we'll stick to scripts for these kind of patch note videos. There's a lot of content to go through, and I'll try my best to make things very quick for you guys, but if you want to read the patch notes in depth, and you should, there's going to be a link in the description below for you to click on. And before we get into the video, just want to remind you guys that I do have a public Discord if you want to join and hang out. It's currently under some remodeling because it was originally meant for MapleStory 2. I made it during MapleStory 2 time, but I'm going to work on that with my mods to change it to MapleStory 1 and get everything set up. But if you want to come and say hi, there's also a link for that too. But preface is out of the way, let's get into the video. I'm going to skip over the collaboration patch notes because typically they don't really provide you with anything too beneficial in the long run and are just there if you feel like doing something else in terms of rewards. I did skim through them and yeah, not really that great. I think Nexon kind of learned from the SAO crossover back in 2014 not to put game breaking items with permanent duration. So usually crossover events, they kind of suck in terms of getting yourself funded. So let's forget about that and go into the good stuff, 14th anniversary. Like all anniversary events, this time of year is one of the best times for you to fund your characters since it gives you a lot of opportunities to grab free equipment, enhancements, items, and other stuff from their events and coin shops. So let's quickly go over what's available to you. First things first, keep an eye on the 14th Street Fair Goer title which provides scaling stats based on how many events you get done during the event period. All stat, max HP and MP, weapon attack and magic attack, boss damage, total damage, and ignore defense. Each parameter scales on how high your celebrity status is. Based on my predictions, your celebrity status goes up every time you complete a mission in the 14th street for up to 36 total missions. Now I don't know exactly how the scaling is going to work, but if it's a 1 to 1 point for percentage for each mission done, you can get a title that gives you 36 all stat, 36% total damage, 36% boss damage, and 36% ignore defense. It lasts for a month and a half, Plus, anniversary events are naturally designed to where you can kill multiple birds with one stone. So while you're trying to go for this title, you can also pick up a ton of other rewards and 14th anniversary coins to buy other stuff with, so you have no reason not to go for them. You also get 14th Street Celebrity Medal for completing all the missions, but since it only gives 14 all stat and 7 attack, easy skip. There are 12 total events related to the 14th anniversary for you to go through. Each of them have their own respective rewards and activities, I would explain them all thoroughly, but well, I don't know how they work since the patch hasn't come out yet, but we'll go over what rewards each one gives. Chaos Pink Pink Theater, first glance, doesn't seem too useful because all it gives you is a 15% experience buff. However, it stacks with other experience increasing buffs, so it is well worth your time to get them, especially when training at higher levels where every little bit counts. Club 5 only gives 14th Street coins, not too colorful in rewards, but we'll see if it might be worth your time later. Override Fashion brings back all the old Maple equipment way back from the first anniversary all the way to the new 14th anniversary along with other special event sets like Tempest, Pinnacle, and Revolution set from back in 2013 to 2014. For more funded players, these items are an easy pass because you probably have stronger universal gear than this to work on your characters, but for newer and mid-level players, I recommend you stock up on as many of these as possible since Maple equipment tend to have above average base stats for their respective levels and because they're easy to get, you can collect tens if not hundreds of them to use later whenever you want to level up characters. Even though I have power leveling equipment, I still use some maple gear to this day for leveling up link skills or for maple legion, so I do recommend this a great deal. Nova Planetarium is also another place to give you 14 street coins, but also it provides you with a good training place called the Sub-Zero Hunt, which is a simulated area that allows you to summon monsters and kill for experience in exchange for 14 street coins. We've seen this before. I don't remember exactly what events have given this, but I do remember an event that I think when Art came out there was one like that. And I'm willing to bet money that these monsters give a ton of experience, so I'm excited to see how good it is. Restaurant Red is both an event that gives you coins and a shop that you can spend coins in. You can actually buy Storm Growth Potions in this shop except, well, they're food, but it increases your level by 1. 
There is a limited quantity, so you can't just spam revolutionary stakes and get a character from like 150 to 200. Still though, that's gonna be helpful. Later on in the anniversary, the Maple and Star Grub will come out for you to get experience, mesos, and more coins. Tempest Arcade is a minigame place, which I don't really care about. But some common minigames you guys probably remember, like One Card and Monstropoly, they will be there for you to get more coins. Those of you who like that kind of stuff, it's there for you. 14th Street Big Bang Attack, it's a event that gives you a skill to use that gives you more bonus experience along with 14th Street points that you can exchange for more coins. I just don't know if it's a permanent skill that you can keep or if it's just only for events, but I guess it's interesting. Renegade Fitness, this is neat. It's very similar to the Mulong Dojo training sauna place where all you gotta do is sit there and you automatically generate experience. How much experience you get, I have no idea, but it scales based on your level. And later in the anniversary, you can get your hands on a title that gives you 15% bonus experience. Very good. Get it. It lasts a month, but hey, a month of 15% experience can save you a lot of time for those of us who are level 230 plus. Cafe Rising Heroes is an event that will earn you 2x experience coupons for 30 minutes, which is helpful. But they only last a day, so it's not very practical to save up a bunch of them. But if you are looking for free 2x coupons and you don't really have access to the Maple Legion coin shop because you don't have enough coins, then uh, they're here for you to enjoy, and also they do provide you coins. And Legends Tower 62 can get you honor experience and coins, along with Arc Museum that can get you trait points for traits like Charm, Diligence, Ambition, Empathy, Insight, uh, what's the last one? I don't know, <laughs> but there's the sixth one, but you get what I mean. Whew, okay, that's all 12 14th anniversary events that can give you 14th street coins. Let's go over the other stuff and I'll wrap up the video. Firepower Burning Event is here, which means another character you can easily power level to 150. So all of you working on your Maple Legion and Link skills, get it done. Usual Burning Event rewards come as well, the Frozen set and a few other things. Pink Bean is making a return, so if you haven't gotten your Holy Pink Bean ED title, which is permanent, then make an effort to get it. Along with a bunch of other extra account rewards, I might make a separate video for this since it's a pretty big thing, but there are people who have made Pink Bean class videos out there already, so you can reference those. It's not something you really need to do, it's like it shouldn't be number one on your priority list, I don't think. You can live without it, but if you want to min-max, that title is very good. It's roughly a little bit better, I think, than the Rudibus Master Medal, or not Rudibus Master Medal, but the Rudibus title, which you can get uh, at any time during the year. But uh, I don't know if I'll do it. I might skip this one just because I skipped every other Pink Bean event, because it's a little cumbersome. But uh, if you want to use it, you can get a lot of extra neat stuff, and I do recommend it for unfunded players. Sunny Sundays are here as usual. Each Sunday you will get double 14th Street points from 14th Anniversary events, and also the limit for it will be doubled, so each weekend you could definitely want to make sure you pump out those events and get as many coins as you can. But let's go over the weekend's individual rewards. April 28th gives you 20 arcane symbols for free, definitely helpful. May 5th gives you half off costs for resetting potentials such as cubing, and all items in the 14th shop have a 30% discount. So I recommend you wait for the discount day before you actually spend your hard earned coins. May 12th lets you summon monsters in Sub Zero Hunt for free and half off for spell tracing. But for reboot players, because you guys don't use spell traces, instead you get a 2x drop event for the day. May 19th gives you 30% off Star Force enhancements. Yes! <laughs> Along with the free restaurant red items. May 26th gives you 2x experience from Poyo and Frito Portals and the Infernal Wolf, and double arcane symbols from Arcane River Dailies, along with another 30% discount from 14th Anniversary Shop. So they like to give you, like every 3 weeks they give you a 30% discount day, and um, you can still spend your coins if you want to, just most of the time people would wait, they would save up like 3 weeks worth of coins, and then they would spend it, because uh, you know, 30% off, that's a big deal. But uh, moving on. June 2nd has a 5x Magnificent Soul event and a 5x Honor Experience event, so if you haven't gotten the Mag Soul or you want a good inner ability, then get hunting that day. And lastly, June 9th gives you one final 30% discount day from the 14th shop, so just one final sale for clearance and make sure you go ahead and spend all of your coins. The Big Bang Store, finally, I'm sure you guys are looking forward to this part. It has all the items you can ask for, and unfortunately, because it's a very big part of the event that a lot of people care about, I'm going to be doing a separate video on that since there's a lot to cover, so you won't really figure out what there is at the moment. Although, if you want to read the patch notes, there is a list of all the contents you can buy. But here, you can spend all of your 14 street coins to get a bunch of helpful items and some nice cosmetic ones. But like I said, another video. Last but not least, bug fixes, which no one cares about. 
Alrighty, so that gives you a crash course in the 14th anniversary patch, and while I'd like to think I did a good job summing it up for you, always helpful to read the patch notes yourself. I know many gamers hate reading, but hey, this stuff is helpful for you, and one of my favorite bits of advice to give for players who are looking to build their character, get funded, take advantage of events. And you can't take advantage of them if you don't know what they are, so do your reading. We have a month and a half to enjoy this event, make the most of it. If you enjoyed this video though, rating would be much appreciated, and leave your comments down in the comment section below. If you have any questions or if you just want to chat, always welcome to do that. But for more important events than the 14th anniversary, I will make separate videos for each of them, which gives me an excuse, I guess, to make more content. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon in the next video. Take care.